All right, let's see here. Space Hearse blasts off. The largest cosmic unnamed hearse liner in history has set out on its first flight. A cutting-edge warp engine, the work of which is strictly classified, is able to deliver the unnamed liner to your planet within days. If you are planning to die in the near future, we recommend you to familiarize yourself with the flight schedule and purchase a ticket to the orbital shuttle. Don't be late to order a space coffin and bury yourself and your relatives in space with utmost comfort. Oh, that's just a damn ad. That's not a story. What's the news coming to these days? Let's let's see if I can get these get this next article here. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. Yes, that looks that looks a bit more likely. A venerian from the state of Annie has provided us with some shocking pictures. In the picture above, captured by a farmer, you can see an unidentified flying banana. According to the photo's owner, it's not the first time he's seen such objects. And after that, during the year, one or even two goats go missing. Might this happen by coincidence? We do not think so. In the next incredible picture taken by an unknown person by the South Sea coast, we can see a whole bunch of unidentified flying bananas. It should be noted that the camera was found in the sand and its owner vanished mysteriously. Or maybe this might also be a coincidence. The information about such UFBs comes from many corners of the habitable galaxy. We've conquered outer space, but have never found any sign of intelligent life. Is this possible, or is the government hiding the truth from us? And what do these mysterious, oblong aliens want from us? The truth is out there, everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. So, we are at a bit of a open-ended issue right now. Our task is simply get to the evac point, which, uh, yes, that fist mark, I think, is our main quest marker. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of just up to us to get that done. So, I think right now I'm going to try and get equipment for all of my space suit. That seems like a good first step. And, uh, the only thing for that is to start exploring what's around. So, is there any marker nearby that I can reach? Well, there's that little puff gas down there. That's... That's a thing that I can start boosting towards. I think maybe that showed up after Babe mentioned life-giving oxygen. Hmm. The largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. Oh. <laughs> the largest There's condom no in the world. The condom wow. Suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. Ooh, oxygen candle. Interesting. Well, this is, uh... Oh my, it looks like it's ribbed for her pleasure, too. Yeah, what's this? The service supply compartment. Almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. That's very impressive. You should be proud of yourself. All right, so I, I get a. Oh, I could also break the door, but let's let's do the scanner thing. That seems like proper advancement, you know. That's making ourselves more capable. And I should have just enough time to get home. Oof! The music gets so ominous. Alright, so we have a new tool that we can make, and we have everything except a light bulb. Well, we have the light bulb, don't we? And what's this oxygen candle? A bit of this, a bit of that, and some voltage, and uh, here you are. A miracle of hydrolysis. A miracle of hydrolysis. You can't inhale enough oxygen with this candle, but at least you can get a couple of horse breaths. Very simple to make. And it looks like, yeah, it's just an instant boost. So I have some uh, surplus oxygen tanks that I can carry on me. Excellent. Good. Yes. And uh, what was the 
new thing. Scanner, an amateur camera, a few parts, some clever handiwork are able to create this wonder. If you plug in the right wires, the suit can scan the surface of any junk. It's not recommended to plug in the wrong wires. Well, I at least have all the right parts. So, let's just create ourselves a nice little scanner. And we have some options. Ooh, goodness gracious. So, the burdock. What secrets do you have for me? Aeroponic planter? Neat! I wonder if we can grow a tree of might. I oh, send yes, uh, oops. Let me, let me just make double extra sure that I can't in fact place Grandpa's photo. Ah! I just needed to do it by actually hitting the key instead of trying to click and drag it. That's a little counterintuitive. No, no. I meant to just put it down in front of it. Let's... There. Nice little cozy shrine. So... I believe that there was... I saw something in here, yes. Scan the first aid kit. Ooh, new blueprint for that. We're getting so many things, so much advancement. This is wonderful. First aid kit. A standard emergency safety kit. A rag for rubbing your forehead and a bit of alcohol. Which, we'll just leave the use of that to your imagination. It's better to use flea wart to treat open fractures, amputations, and heavy bleeding. Alright, so what's this? Thick roll of electric link, roll of fabric, composite resources, da, da, da. I could have sworn there was aeroponic... Is that under objects? Uh... Da, 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 da. I'm not seeing this aeroponic planter anywhere. Oh well. Now well, let's, let's get down back to the air poof area. Babe, do you try to overcome radiation with that spacesuit? Must try definitely. It might save us. Yes, uh, if I know anything about uh, comic book science, then it would likely give me superpowers. It's really honestly something I should try. She's she's on to something there, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! It just opens right up. How there can about be no that? mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Oof. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Neat. Do I have anything that allows me to roll? I don't know. I have to look through the con, through the controls. You must carefully remove the station by removing two. You must carefully remove the station by removing two. <laughs> anyway, ah. this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Yeah, it's just just this very. Light one. It's a subtle little melange. What's this? This looks like it's full of nutrient goo. Is that anything I can harvest? I guess not. Alright, so this oxygen station, that sounds helpful. Well, why not? Just while we're here. Nada. But yes. Oxygen station. That sounds like a thing for helping out long range flights. That might be useful. Now, what have we here? Items. Da, da, da. Oxygen generator. Generally, it's an inside-out battery with rather complicated pattern from electrical tape. Uh, all this is fit into a fancy case and has a fancy name. You can be proud of this and shove it into oxygen stations. All right. And it looks like we have another thing. Oxygen station. A handmade unit with batteries producing oxygen based on hydrolysis. It heats up so much that after starting it, it's better not to touch or disassemble it. The station would have stunk of hydrogen and something else entirely, if not for the vacuum in your spacesuit. 
it's actually really simple to build. The only thing that's at all rare there is this uh, aluminum, which we know where to find that now, thanks to just random derping around, smashing everything. Basically, uh, all the instincts that they try and train out of you when you get out of toddlerdom. Uh, just, just proving society wrong there, I guess. Let's, uh, let's just carry that on with us. Oh, goodness, that's huge. That is huge. We need to... So, do I... Do I, I, I guess I have to bind it to a slot. And it must be... Well, I mean... Ah, uh, what's life without a little bit of risk? Let's, let's pick a star and... Yes, what's that? One, 651 meters away, that's... That might be reachable. All right. Hmm. Nice and peaceful. Oh, but the radiation is a climbing. So there, even if I can, even if I have the air to make it there and back, there's still a limitation factor, I guess. I'm gonna need to find the lead lining for the spacesuit to get through this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, freezing danger, huh? Can I work around the zone? Yeah, it's just kind of in that... Uh, it's like a circular area around all this. Okay. What's that glowy? Well, we're past 50% oxygen, so we're kind of committed to this now. The this has to work. The to proved to be extremely reliable and works even when the shuttle is destroyed completely. I wouldn't recommend disassembling and examining it. Yeah, because that's probably violating thermodynamics. You want to leave that until open. You need a magnetic master key. Okay. Well, let's just into the ice. Hmm. I think I'll deploy this when I have ten seconds remaining. That seems like a nice fare. Let's just get that in our hand. Explode. Your engineering skills will be reconsidered. I recommend that you investigate the immediate vicinity in search of radiation protective equipment for flying to the activation zone. Oof. Ah. Okay, so it's like a... It's like a kind of a, a portable... And, and I guess those other battery things you would use to refill it. Neat! And my view is starting to get awful icy. Do I see the warm orange glow of a uh, of a heater anywhere? Perhaps. Hmm. A cemetery okay, rescue shuttle. Just, the evacuation zone is very close, but the amount of debris is far from encouraging. Just kind of set up a nice straight line and just just trust trust in it. Oh, we can barely barely see. Not good. Not good at all. It is highly recommended that you not touch the glass fragments with your hands. Aha! The splinters are able to pierce the thin fabric of the spacesuit and cause a slight death attack. Babe, you must not to eat. Food can be poisoned, and water, and air. She cares. It feels so good to have someone who's just unambiguously on our side. Glass. Oof, a dangerous object. Okay, so I need the grabber for that, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I need the grabber. Well, let's see what the loot around here looks like. Fine metal, thick look. Goodness. Okay, can I make it to that oxygen station before I run out? I can't quite tell. It's gonna be close. Let's use the oxygen candle. So that's how that works. Neat! Okay. This is going swimmingly so far, other than the fact that I need to build that grabber. Let's refill on oxygen and start exploring this area. Oh, I didn't get a good look at this thing before. It's a nice big blimpy thing. Neat. Is my radiation rising over time? I can't see Jack. Okay, uh, uh, alcohol said it increases my heat, so if I use that... Oh, 
But that gives me a slightly different problem. But yeah, it's good that we just, uh, apparently we drink so enthusiastically we splash it over our face and it acts like a windshield washer fluid, I guess. Well, it gives me enough vision to get next to this and, um, yeah. Okay, our liver is nice and powerful. It looks like it's calming down bit by bit. Or not. This is honestly very disconcerting. That's very potent booze to act this thoroughly this quickly. Oof. Which is all right and proper, I suppose. Goodness gracious. What is that? What have we stumbled into over here? These are some nice big looking tanky things. Is there anything I can do with those? I need to run for home, in fact. Yeah, in fact, I don't know if I'm quite fast enough to make it. I'm probably going to lose a little bit of health in this. Yeah, I'll still be 40 meters out when I run out of air. Well, if I start getting really close to zero on health, then I can burn an oxygen candle. But no, my health goes down pretty darn slow. Distressing as that sounds. Oh dear. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, uh... Yes, that was... Let, let's just sleep that whole experience off. Alright, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Oh, there's a couple of... And a free piece of fabric, but let's, let's not destroy our pillow. Hmm. My grandfather. Very cute. I don't know when I painted it. Looks more like marker. I don't know when I painted it exactly, but I remember that my grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and calling it Alkalenin. Why he hung it over his bed is a mystery. Oh, this is grandpa's bed? Aww. I guess this is grandpa's ship, isn't it? Happy birthday, grandpa. Man. Our, our protagonist's name is just Man. My notion of starships in childhood didn't differ much from my knowledge of them today. I drew this masterpiece at six or seven, and I'm still proud of it. You should be. I mean, look at how that engine just kind of clips through the hull. It's defying space and time. This is honestly visionary right here. It's probably reactionless. The flames are just the effect of it cutting through space and time. Yes. Earth. Home. Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much, just as any astronaut. Hmm. Alright. Is there anything else I can do with burdock? I guess not. Carrot. Tasty, nutritious, almost clean. Despite the active anti-carrot propaganda, carrots are still in demand. I wish they wouldn't throw the ends out of the windows. Hmm. So, if there's propaganda against them, are they still just as addictive and destructive? So really, there's no difference here. 20 filtered carrots? A carrot a day keeps the dentist away. Small carrots with a, a filter. Usually they're just kept in the mouth. Sometimes they're chewed on. The soft core is pressed directly into the mouth or into the lungs, as luck would have it. Quite a strange pastime for sure, yes. Goodness. So this box looks like it would hold about uh, three. Goodness. Uh, da -da. Components. Organic carrots. Without coloring or preserving agents. Warning. One, excessive, consu yeah. excessive consumption of carrots can cause irreparable harm to health, like everything else excessive. Two, do not eat carrots in public places. Passive carrot eating can be dangerous. Three, throw carrot bits out, uh, uh, throw ca carrot bits only in 
uh, designated areas do not propagate rats. Kind of hard to read sideways. Neat. Rats, huh? Figures that they would make it into space. Ooh, September. But it's not September, it's August. What what did what did the newspaper say? Yeah, it's August. Either that or it's an old newspaper. Hmm. Or old calendar. Heaven knows what year it is, what month it is. We know it's two, uh, 2073 from the could be December for all I know. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a uh, fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some wide stripes from Grandpa's belt after that incident. Yeah, you you don't mess with a man's with a man's feet pics. That just ain't done. Ain't right. Didn't raise you right, son. Hmm. So, that didn't go terribly well going out all the way to there. I need the grabber to get that glass. It's... I, I don't think I'll go and do that trip right now, but... Just, what do I need for the grabber? All I need is some more aluminum. Do I have a second-hand grabber? Yes. So let's go beat up some roids of the Astra, not the Hammer variety, and uh, then we will see if we can find some more aluminum. Might be other things inside of them too, who knows. Nada! I mean, I'm literally beating a rock into dust with a wrench. This is kind of manly, to be honest. Aluminum seems kind of rare. Yes. One more. Goodness gracious. This is an absolutely depleted asteroid field. Either that or they're, they're really just big balls of gravel and everyone's... All the media has lied to, the, to us about them essentially being big old resource and meatballs and the real treasure is the friends we made along the way. But that can't be right. When would when would all the sci-fi that babe, you still not die? It is so grief. Yeah. Yeah, it is amazing how hardy I am. It's 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 just, uh, it, it's heartbreaking what I go through, but we'll make it through. Babe, I wanted to say great, great, not grief, my very bad language, Smi frowny face with the shuttle three lips. These are the rescuers. Given that the Ooh. evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must have been incredible. Yes, I'm just picking up some metal to replace the metal I spent on the handy scrapper. Ooh, the rescuer hello. spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work as they don't require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Oof, determined look on his face. Neat. Ah, we are just burning our way through those. I hope I unlock a better tool than the handy scrapper soon. Possibly some sort of multi-tool, like something... I still don't know what the drill is even for, but whatever it accomplishes, maybe something that can combine the drill and the scrapper and have a lot more durability. Hmm. Or the grabber. At least I know what the grabber is used for. Honestly, hooking something on, like, the little knobbly bits of the handy scrapper would be feasible anyway. Okay, so what was this uh, tools equipment? Ah, fleshlight. I need another light bulb. Uh, hmm. Hmm. You think that there's maybe another lamp down in the uh, sex dungeon? That might be a thing to check. I mean, there's a little pink neon light on down there. That's something. Yep. Mm. 
Oh, I missed that in my initial investigation. Wasn't there a, a bloody hammer? Oh dear. This guy. Oof. Very thorough execution for treason. Yes. Hmm. Not seeing anything that's looking likely around here. So we have to keep our eye out for another light bulb. I didn't really investigate that toilet detected area. Let's do that next. I suppose I could just start setting up a chain of oxygen stations everywhere. That might be appropriate. Okay, we'll, ro we'll roll the dice on the asteroid again, just because it's available. Not a... asteroids. They're a scam. Oh, good grief. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Ye yellowish water? Dead hamster? Poor fella. For some reason, there's always been a lot of rodents. Whether they ran away and multiplied, or they were specially bred, I don't know. But I think there are still lots of them. Goodness gracious. I I don't think there's anything I could possibly use that for. Let's just let's just leave this overly festive area behind. Ooh, metal, scissors, oxygen candle. Ooh. Wasn't there another what are these? Fabric? Mm, scissors. Well, it's a fairly resource-rich area, but there's just not the one resource that I want. What is a good source for aluminum? If there was, like, an aluminum source in one of the walls of these big asteroids, that wouldn't help me either, because I need to grab her. You let me in. Can I maybe generate some from the good old... I think all I got from this so far was plastic. Is there anything else I can get from this? Wire? That would have been useful a while ago. The way the wa the water moves is uh, a little bit kind of... Mm, fabric? I would not trust that fabric. So it looks like it only gives, like, basic resources. Yellowish water we picked up. Made from ordinary water by natural alkalinization through the kidneys. Hmm. Does that imply maybe we can get alkali from this stuff? Wait, would that mean that the alcohol that we can make out of alkali and ice is literally just piss water? Neat. And by neat, I mean worrying. Let's... I've got a... Abundance that I must uh, let's just keep that over there. Hmm. I need more regular old water, especially after wasting so much of it. Food, it's under food. Yes. Alright, is there anything more in the joyful area? I don't really think so. But I didn't explore what these little tanker things that I saw were, I don't think. Over in the ice field. Let's see what this all is about. Yes, thank you. I, I've realized. But there is a nice little heater over here. An automatic shuttle temperature control system. Due to the freezing of the sensors, it works at maximum power and is able to melt the cooling gel along with the helmet. Ah, nice. Goodness, that's a huge mass of blued. Is that blued? What is that? Oof. Grandpa? No, not Grandpa, I don't think. Nope. Not Grandpa. Oh, it's yellowish water. Oh, lovely. The marking corresponds to the water. Oh. 
Okay, so there were some blue ones, right? Yeah, over there are some blue ones. Mm, shoot, I've gone far enough that I'm probably gonna have to burn an oxygen the candle. Response to the water tanks. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, when did I hit? I hit the. Uh, no, shoot. Okay. We're gonna have ourselves another little situation here. Babe, you can explode your body. Flesh can be noticed by rescuers, and you become my hero. Let's burn an oxygen candle. I I could probably make it, but eh. Oof. Come on, thaw out. Oh, drill's still kind of going. That's neat. Yeah, kind of at a loose at a loose end here. I'm not sure what I need to do at this point, other than I guess Well that looks like it's a ways away, but I might be able to reach it with an oxygen station. I haven't explored this big chungus yet. Need sources for all the ingredients for our oxygen stations. A lot and of various goods for batteries. The cargo holds of the liner unnamed. The Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertisement company and has nothing to do with these goods. Huh. Explains how they made their money, I guess. Honestly, space funerals didn't seem like a big enough investment unless you're exorbitantly overcharging. And I don't exactly get the feeling that we are the kind of rich fellow who could afford, afford exorbitancy. Although Grandpa, hmm, Grandpa's pretty baller. Yeah, I could see Grandpa being an eccentric rich man, and we're just kind of caught up in his wake. Lots of rubber. Well, the good news is I found some oxygen candles in here, so this trip is profitable. Even though, yeah. You just wait till the last second before I burn it. Hmm. Kind of running out of likely looking areas to explore. Did I go through this wreck? Yeah, this is one of the first wrecks I explored, isn't it? I've certainly got a nice abundance of things, I just wish I had something to spend it on. Because I'm missing that one scrap of aluminum. That handy scrapper's getting low, but I have the second one in backup still. Yeah. Well, more asteroid bashing, I guess, looking for that aluminum. If the handy scrappers are going to be so crap, I wish they would at least automatically replace themselves when you have spares. Oh well. It ain't a huge deal. Yeah, so that's the rescue ship down there, but there's another asteroid I could use. This is just karma for destroying Grandpa's back scratcher, isn't it? Yeah, it totally is. Hmm. Maybe I should have used my oxygen station to get to there. Maybe some of those asteroids should have had some friggin' aluminum in them. Have I explored the area behind here other than excursions to that little piece of junk? Is there maybe... Yeah, there's some scrap hidden behind the asteroid. Maybe something in here for me to use. Goodness, that's a big chunker of a thing. 
It's looking like it's the only one who's back here, though. It looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely it was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. Hmm. You wouldn't say that about a female loading shuttle. Well, it at least has some oxygen candles, so the trip is profitable. Let's just pick up some metal while we're here. Hmm, I forgot to make a handy scrapper, didn't I? Yep, I sure do. And a speaker, too. That's a new piece of scrap. So, yeah, I need to come back here. Oof. And I saw something sparking over there, and that reminds me. I never read the achievement for the chicken dielectric, did I? Which one of these was? Achievos. There it is. Chicken dielectric. An immortal chicken on a stick makes an excellent dielectric. We do not recommend trying this in real life, unless you have an immortal chicken and an immortal you. <sighs> well, I mean, that's just a common situation that all of us can relate to. I mean, I'm sure that we'll, we'll all be trying it, just whenever we please. The plague of immortal chickens haunting us all. Something's gotta be done about it. That looks like a scrap I haven't visited before. I'm not even gonna pick that up. I am I am well stocked on rubber and scissors. Why all the rubber and scissors? Honey barrel? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Well, it's a useless piece of scrap. Jesus Christ. And this is a nice close piece of scrap. A model from the advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture, as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. Gasp, I can't afford to be cancelled. Hmm. Anything behind her? Just some sparky bits. That's still amazing. Lots of big metal meatballs, though. Okay, so I've got a couple new scrappers built up. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. That's, that's where the oxygen station was. Hmm. I'm kind of running out of things to look through. Extract plating. Shears. Found a use for the shears. <laughs> it's just a piece of fabric, and honestly, that doesn't look too terribly good. I, I think I've affected the structural integrity of my own damn airlock. That's... that's, uh, probably... Well, it's fine, I'm sure. Hmm. Aluminum! Okay, so we need to make a decision. Grabber or oxygen station? <sighs> Grabber could allow me to pick up the ice and more alkali and stuff like that. And I could explore all these little pockets around. And maybe that would open up a sustainable source of something for me. It's lots of ice supplies, but I can get that with the drill. Hmm. But still, maybe there is something very useful that the grabber could do. Maybe glass would allow me to build something amazing. It might unlock a, uh, it might unlock a blueprint for something. But oxygen station, on the other hand, if I built an oxygen station, because that looks like it's a really long ways away, and that is a really long ways away, that would allow me to explore those further reaches. Mm. Further reaches sounds like the more guaranteed option. I am probably going to have to get rid of some junk before I can hold on to this. Yeah, not enough space. Okay, let's uh, get rid of some of the plastic, some of the metal, some of the rubber. I have so much damn rubber. 
is that enough? It do. All right. So let's uh, and let's get a going. So set course and vamoose. This kind of is set for the halfway point between those two interesting looking landmarks. Yeah, this is looking like really promising scrap. This might have some things to help me out. The shuttle was flooded with paint during the crash. Even the service center wouldn't be able to clean it from the inside. It's impossible to repair it. The paint itself also has no value after freezing. Well, it can be thawed. The safe is private property, and the Global Funeral Agency is indifferent to the fact of its opening. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency. We care about your reputation. <laughs> okay, then. So I, I guess I need some sort of uh, appropriate retina. Maybe that's what I need to open one of the coffins for, to find whoever this belongs to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I shouldn't have faffed around so much. But let's set up our oxygen station right in this area. Now. Hmm. Interesting that the ominous music continues until I let up off, uh... It's probably the owner of the shuttle with paint. He was engaged in illegal pumping during the crash, judging by the traces of paint on his hands, and a huge hose stuck to his face. <laughs> illegal pumping. Well, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I could see that being some uh, illegal pumping action. Smuggler's Eye? Rumor has it that smugglers can open any lock with a retina scanner. I have no idea how they do it, but uh, probably using some eyes. I should try it, since this one fell out. Neat. Well, that's, uh... I guess that answers our question of how we're going to get in. And do I need to actually use the dang eye in my slot? Kind of like how uh, the chicken and gum puzzle worked in the beginning. Yep, it do install. Not enough space? Turn... What the hell? Oh, okay. It just lead paint? Ooh. Extremely toxic. Oh, I, I should read that when I'm actually in a safe area. Well. Okay, then. So lead paint was one of the big things that I needed the for the... Constructed for pumping paint from the liner tanks. Such paint sells for a lot of money on the black market, although smugglers are happy about their profit only for a short time due to the paint's toxicity. Yes, that's uh, tragic. Where is the oxygen station? There is the oxygen station. Completely missed where my HUD was pointing me for some reason. Well, I don't think I could make that. I would need another oxygen station to hopscotch over there. Mm. So I need to find another piece of aluminum, and isn't that a familiar problem to have? Okay, so we have lead paint now. And I guess that we don't need to hang on to the eye because apparently it's just something that our chicken is bound to now. So, uh, resources, composite. So we can make lead paint now out of paint and lead. Extremely toxic paint, used only for covering ship holes. Consult your common sense before using it. Well, I mean... I mean the, the rates that my common sense charges are just a bit too high. So we're going to need 
two of it. We're going to need... We're going to need three of it in total. We're going to need another piece of aluminum. That's one thing we're going to need glass for. Roll of fabric is easy, but four more aluminum. We need to find a source of goddamn aluminum. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I down to my last handy scrapper? No. Hmm. I mean, ship holes should largely be made out of titanium and aluminum. Well, no, that's thinking in modern, in modern uh, engineering where we need it as lightweight as possible to lift it off. If these ships, which as big as they are, these ships must be entirely made in space. In that case, um, you don't need to worry as much about weight because you're not dragging it all out of a gravity well. You can kind of build as heavy as you like, and in fact. In a lot of ways, heavier armor is very advantageous. I think I read once that uh, the best metal for for space, if weight is not a consideration, is invar. The absence of movement of the nearby debris contradicts the basic laws of physics. Either someone forgot about the use of logic, or it is an anomaly formed in the radius of the destroyed core of the liner. So the space friction is made by a space wibbly. That makes sense. But yes, apparently Invar is what you want to what you want to start building stuff out of once you are past the tyranny of the rocket equation. Because uh, it's good and tough enough that it can handle a good solid knock, but mostly it's the fact that it doesn't it doesn't uh, change size much with uh, thermal expansion and contraction. Because uh, handling heat is one of the bigger issues in space. Not just uh, space isn't cold in a sense, it's an insulator, a perfect, a near perfect insulator. So, radiating heat away is always an issue. And things near your your uh, radiator panels, they are going to be nice and toasty. The biggest problem in space ain't freezing yourself, it's keeping yourself from cooking alive from your own body heat. At least that's realistic space. Space in, uh, in this game, well, it's anyone's guess. Yeah, at this point I ain't even going out with goal, I'm just kind of Picking the second star to the right and heading straight on till morning. There has to be something out here that I'm missing. And I'm just goddamn blind to it. Maybe I should take another trip out to that on uh, to that oxygen station and I should search the flammable area. Yeah, that might be a thing I do. Maybe I should pick up the dead hamster and see if that unlocks anything to craft, but I doubt it. Hmm. There's so many pieces of gear that I'm missing. There has to be another unlock for it somewhere around here. Okay, back into the ice hole. Alright, so fill our tank, and then frickin' book it. Straight for the closest heat lamp and straight towards the fire hazard. Those look like some big water tanks over there. Hmm. Yeah, this area is I see. I get blinded really dang quick. I might have to stock up on some alcohol, but that's honestly almost as bad in terms of blocking my view.
Okay, before things ice up again, is there anything around here? Not really. God damn. And with our oxygen tank so tiny, I really don't get much time to explore before I have to run back to the station. Yeah, I'm just going to let myself take a little bit of damage on this one. Well, I'm not dying, but I'm still gasping. That's kind of weird. Oh, no, it's... Okay, so... This, that trip was a bit scuffed, I think. Just don't mind the ice. I don't think there's anything in my way. Just kind of keep on boosting until I'm out of it. Eh, yeah, we made it home with plenty of time. Okay... Nothing for it but beating more asteroids, I guess? Is there any hunk of scrap I ain't visited yet? Maybe something out past the Gamer Bros? Container of something. Salty package, okay. Well, it figures that a couple of gamers would be all salty about things. No, that's just the void. Mm. Okay, that kind of green-looking area that was out past the end of the bigger shipping container wreck. Was that something that I explored? Yeah, that thing there. Is that something that I explored? I can't remember at the moment. That's a neat swirly space thing off in the distance. I thought that blue light was just a star, but no, that's a... That's a swirly thingy. Hmm. It looks a bit like an accretion disk. Could do. I'm not quite sure what kind of... Uh, natural formation big ol' vertical asteroids like this would form out of anyway. We're in a very interesting part of space. Yeah, I literally don't have time to get there. Shoot. Cutting it a bit close. Mm, yeah. It, it's just the good old uh, halfway of your oxygen gets down, you have to immediately turn around and probably you should turn around before you reach half, really. Oh dear. Um, let's explore the mail truck a little bit more. Yeah, it should be loaded up with stolen goods, or so my suit claims. So show me the goods, man. I mean, you got this nice speaker at least. Just plastic and a battery? God damn. Oh, okay. I'll play your game, you rogue. Suitcase. Inventory full. Um, drop some of that. Okay. Let's head home. Examine that once we're in the safe bosom of our lovely little infinite air generator which is a bit of a mystery how that's even running still yeah I'll lose a bit of health it's fine 
we are a tough son of a gun, and we don't really need those brain cells anyway. So, a spacious travel suitcase every passenger used to have. The suitcase has no internal compartments, secure locks, wheels, retractable handles, or competitors. Now if I use it... Bound to slot one? Okay. Install. Um, I guess I'll just put that on the seat. Ah, we have extra storage. Neat. Okay, so let, let's put that in a more appropriate area. Let's install this, like... Can I put this up on the... Can I, like, put this somewhere over here? Good enough. So now... Well... Yeah, I have two handy scrappers. Uh, da, da, da. Let's just start loading it all up with some of our miscellany. And that is going to be a huge load off my shoulders. This music reminds me of something. Neverhood. Oh, Neverhood. I haven't thought of that game in forever. But yeah, it sounds like a lot of the music out of that. It was a very surreal experience. Neverhood was all like... It, it was claymation style with music to to fit. I think there was one song... Like, the guy was singing about how he liked to put gravy in his pants and dance around. That was hilarious to me when I was seven. Still kind of hilarious to me now. And honestly, I can appreciate it. Like, I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't enjoy a little bit of that every now and then? Alright, so let's keep our scanner on slot 4 just in case. And, uh, yeah, well, it's not the achievement that I was hoping for, but having actual proper expanded storage, that is a sigh of relief. Now we can keep all of our most important thematic accessories and our... I guess these are technically crafting materials, and so is this. I guess we can keep all our most important stuff in in there, and we can just uh, have our various assorted crafting crap sorted right where we're going to be using it. That is nicely convenient. <sighs> and with that... I think I'm going to call it a day on this particular episode. We can make more. That's wonderful. And, uh, oh, salty package. I didn't read that. Yes, yes. A package of an edible salt-based solution. Satisfies hunger well and pickles your internal organs. So that's uh, minus ten thirst. I think this is minus five thirst. So let's see here. Uh, base is hunger plus 25 for no downside. Uh, sweet package will sacrifice five thirst to get you 15 more hunger. And this one will sacrifice another five thirst to get you another 20. So it is getting more efficient on the thirst to hunger trade as you go up the higher tiers. But still the most efficient is just to uh, stick to stick to what doesn't cost you anything whatsoever. Well, I'm just going to sleep this failure of a day off, and I think I'm going to call it a night.